what would be the point of genetic testing? So what does it tell the family? Yeah, that's a great question. So one thing I always tell families to kind of be aware of is that as it is with many genetic syndromes, even though we're making progress, for the most part, if we identify a genetic cause of anything in a person, we can't change it usually. Even if we know it's a misspelling in this gene and we people hear about CRISPR and they're like, can we go change it? Can we do this or that? Unfortunately, we're just not there with our technology for most genetic conditions. And that includes conditions that affect the brain like autism. So that's one piece that it won't really help with, frankly. The, the thing that it can help is one big thing is kind of medical stuff. So if I find out that a person has a autism from a certain genetic cause, and it turns out that people with this t- genetic cause of autism also have a high risk of seizures, or they have a risk of abnormal heart rhythms or kidney problems or whatever it might be, I'm just kind of listing off possibilities, then we are aware of that. The families can look out for that. We could send them to the appropriate resources or referral centers to get tested or surveillance and to look out for those things. 